Hey guys, it's Alex, and today I'm going to be showing you how to use the keyless access key fob on your new Subaru. Now specifically, this is a 2021 Subaru Outback, but these same functions that I'm gonna be talking about today can be used on older models as well. It doesn't have to be an Outback, it can be um, Forester or Crosstrek, any of the cars that we have that have the keyless access, uh, even older models like 2019, 2020 as well. Hopefully you guys can hear me okay. I've got the, uh, the wind cat or whatever they call this. I have made this video already and it, uh, the sound quality was terrible because of the wind. So hopefully you can hear me better. I <laughs> um, also wanted to give a quick shout out to um, my new subscribers to the channel. Um, I have like 30 subscribers right now, which I know is not a lot but uh, i started this channel back in december of 2020 so just a few months ago and i didn't really have high expectations for it i just kind of wanted to make a few uh short videos to help people with their new subaru and uh i've i've been um very uh happy to see that people are finding value in them so i appreciate the uh the compliments and the kind comments that uh some people have left um and i'm going to continue making videos and helping you guys out. So uh, with that said, if you guys have any questions after today's video, whether it be on the key fob itself or other Subaru features, then uh, leave them in the comment section below. If you find value, please smash the like button and uh, subscribe to the channel if you haven't done so already. Also, don't forget to hit the little bell icon because that will notify you when I post new videos just like this one. All right, guys, so I uh, just wanted to go over the layout real quick with you. So first, you've got the, uh, the lock button here. Uh, this is the, the Subaru logo is the unlock button. That's a tricky one that most people don't uh, realize right away. Uh, the uh, trunk and hatch button, that actually unlocks the trunk or the hatch. Uh, if you have a power rear gate, that also opens and closes the, the hatch as well. I'll show you guys how that works in just a moment. Uh, then you have the panic button here, um, and I'll show you how that works as well. Here is the um, uh, little button here that will release the traditional key. I'll try to get it out for you guys. It's kind of tricky while holding the camera. But you have to uh, put your finger kind of through this loop and then press this little button. And that uh, releases it. So once you have this out, if your key fob ever dies or if your car battery dies, you can use this traditional style uh, key um, to put it back in. It's really simple. Uh, not so simple with one hand, but I'll show you guys. You just put it in there and you can push it in. So it's a lot easier actually going in, I think, than, than pulling it out, to be honest. <laughs> so the car is locked right now, so we're gonna start with the unlock button. When you click that, it'll unlock only the driver's side door. It will not unlock the passenger side or, or the, uh, the hatch. To lock and uh, to lock the car, simply click the lock button here. That'll lock all doors. Now, if you want to set your alarm, you click one, two, and three. You have to click three consecutive times. That will uh, set your alarm. Also, when you are locking, uh, I believe on the second click, it's daylight, so I can't really show you here now. On the second click, it will also turn your, uh, your dome lights out. So any interior lights, it'll turn that off uh, or approach lighting, things like that. Um, your hatch button, I'll show you that. This is one of my favorite features. Um, the power rear gate is not a standard, so this is an option on certain trims. Um, this one in particular is the, the 2021 Outback XT Onyx Edition. XT just means that it's the 2.4 turbo engine instead of the standard 2.5 NA, and um, the Onyx uh, is the black appearance package. So you see the, uh, the black wheels, um, the black uh, blacked out badges on the, the back, and then the uh, front grill. I'll show you real quick. It's a really nice day here in uh, Louisville, Kentucky. Um, should could be a little bit warmer. It's about 55 degrees right now. I think it's going to get up to 70. 
but I'm finally glad to see that we're starting to get some good weather. But you can see here, there's the all black. So right here, uh, this usually is like an aluminum brush uh, or chrome finish, um, but that has the, uh, the all black appearance package. Makes it look really nice and, and stealthy. Something that you don't really see in your traditional Outback. So it's nice to see that Subaru's stepping up their game, making their cars look a lot nicer uh, than previous years. Anyways, back to our automatic rear gate or power rear gate. So you click and hold and it'll open the power rear gate. And you also have the buttons in here where you can click just to close it. If you click this, it'll close and lock the hatch. But we're going to use the power rear gate because this one has it. We're going to click and hold and it will close the hatch. Another feature that I should tell you guys about uh, that is specific to the, uh, the Outback and the, uh, the Forester, uh, the, the Crosstrek actually has a switch on the inside of the, um, the driver's side where you, where you unlock the uh, gas lid. But for uh, this car, if your car is locked, you can press it in, but this won't come out. When you unlock, you'll hear it click, and that'll actually come out. So this is only able to be opened whenever your car is unlocked. Another feature I want to show you guys before I show you the coolest part about this key fob is just the uh, panic button. So sometimes you might hit that when you're clicking your key at night. If you click it, it's going to start going off. It's really obnoxious and loud. Just click it again to turn it off. That's really helpful if you're trying to find your car in a, a uh, parking lot. You can't really remember where you parked. So that, that is an option. But now I'm going to show you why this key is so awesome. So we're going to lock the car. I'm going to put my key over here in my pocket. And there are proximity sensors around the car that will allow you to unlock and lock the car whenever you're within a close distance. So it's only within like a foot or two. But there's actually a sensor on the inside of this door handle. You'll hear it unlock and you can get into the car with just having your key nearby in your pocket. Uh, there's also, I'll try to get a good angle here, there's also these little lines here. You can put your finger there and it'll lock the car. Uh, there's also one below here that will lock the car. So you can put your finger on either, either side and it'll lock when you're getting out. Uh, it'll unlock when you are um, close by and trying to get in. So I hope that helps answer your questions around the keyless access key fob. If you found this video helpful, don't forget to smash the like button, subscribe to the channel. If you have more questions, leave them down in the comment section below. I'll be happy to answer those for you either with a quick reply or even make a dedicated video to answer that for you. So hope you guys have a great day and uh, thanks for watching. I will see you guys in the next one.